I am, man. I'm a, I'm a history buff, and I love the history like I love the present, like I love, you know, the future. Because I think, one, they were all walking. You can't know the future unless you know the history. But I had Master P here recently, um, and I also had him on the radio show. I saw that, too. You saw that, right? Yeah. And I asked him about, you know, all you guys being from New Orleans. Definitely. Why it never happened. Here's what he had to say. What was the situation back then? It was just that I didn't get along with some of the people he ran with. Yeah. You know, some of the people that was with Cash Money, like I told you, you know, all your friends ain't my friends. I salute them for what they done, but if I don't get along with the people you get along with, you know, I'm not going to do business with you. Mm -hmm. That's just it. I, he probably felt the same way. He probably didn't get along with some of the people that mm -hmm. that I ran with. Yeah. You know, it was two different communities, two different hoods. and uh, two, two different projects, right? Two, two different projects. Okay. Okay, you were so, from? I was from Cali, yo, and they was from the Magnolia. Okay. Right. So, but you know, I, I mean, that's how it go, man. Like, sometimes you don't want to mix with some of the people. Yeah. You know, that <laughs> it, it's just life. If you, <laughs> you know, if you're really from the streets, you like, man, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. You know, all money ain't good money. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, I mean, he gave you guys the utmost praise, you know, but it didn't, you know, and he said that, which, you know, and I was curious, because I know you watch Rap Fix. How, what, what, what are your thoughts on that? Why, is that accurate, or? I mean, back then, we was young, you yeah. know. We ain't rock with that. That ain't rock with us, so that's just how that was. Mm -hmm. um, we ain't see eye to eye with nothing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it was really me and him. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists got along with each other. Yeah. It was more of me and him. Uh -huh. um, maybe he didn't like who I rock with. That's where I come from. Uh -huh. But it was more personal with me and him. We didn't see eye to eye, period. Uh -huh. And that's one of those things that you, like what you said with R. Kelly, I was 10 years ago. And in this case, yeah. that was 15 years 15, ago. 15, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. So. Yeah. Now it could potentially be. If y'all saw each other, you would be cordial. Oh, we speak. Yeah. I, I, man, Master P, one of the best hustlers ever to do this. Yeah. Man, I admire his hustle, man. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to do what he did. Mm -hmm. You understand me? You can't. You know, you can't ever hate on a hustler. And that man is a pure hustler. I got respect for what he did and what he done, and I'm more than sure he feel the same about us. But mm -hmm. far as me and him doing music at this point in my life, it don't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Wayne and Romeo and the children, his uh -huh. and mine, but far as me and him doing music at this point in my life, I don't see no reason for that. Uh -huh. But do I respect him as a man and what he did? Yeah, I do very much because he from the turf and he know what it do down there. Uh -huh. And for him to accomplish what he accomplished, that was one of my motivations to accomplish more than him, Russell, Diddy, um, Shug, uh -huh. all of them together. Uh -huh. You know, I looked at all of them. I studied all of them and said, "I'm out." My, there was my goals. There was the reason I put myself on the plateau is to challenge what they hadn't already accomplished. That's what's up. Birdman is hanging out with us. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Star Status Chris back with another video breakdown. First things first, make sure to smash that like button. And also after the video, make sure to jump in that comment box below and let me know your thoughts and opinions. So for today's video, we're going to get into the no limit and cash money beef. Now, this is a real street beef that even went into the music industry. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. I'm going to break it down and we're going to get into the real root of everything and why it was such a beef between these two guys. Now, let's look into the real reason behind the cash money and no limit beef back in the day. Just like Birdman's brother, Terrence Gangster Williams, who is known as a drug kingpin and hitman in New Orleans and also an early investor in the startup of Cash Money Records in the 90s. So was Master P's cousin, Randall Watts, minus the investor part. In 1997, Randall was chased and gunned down in the country yard next to the infamous Rose Tarvin Club in the Calio Projects. There used to be a rainbow colored mural of Randall Watts painted outside of the Rose Tarvin. Randall was a certified street legend around the Calio Projects, where he earned a reputation of an enforcer for local drug gangs. Randall was a notorious hitman, said Master P in a Feds Magazine article. When you would say his name, people would run. Randall was a regular at the Rose Tarvin. 
After he was gunned down in Calio's Central Country Yard in 1997, a parade of par barriers carried his body from the funeral home into Rose Tarvin, chanting gangsta gangsta and drowsing the casket and beer. The scene wouldn't exist had CNN had not been in town to film Master P for a segment on him becoming one of the richest men in hip hop. Master P's 1997 Heaven for a Gangster was dedicated to Watts. So was I Miss My Homies. At the 4 minute and 28 second mark during Silk the Shockter's verse, Randall Watts appears on the headstone. It was rumored around New Orleans that Baby's brother, Gangster, had some involvement in Watts' killing. It caused tension between the Calio and Magnolia projects at the time. Gangsta and Baby would approach Master P only a few months after the murder of Watts in an attempt to spark up some Cash Money and No Limit collabs. Cash Money hadn't yet signed their deal with Universal Records and was hoping that working with No Limit would give them added appeal to the major labels. When the two met Master P's face to face with their proposal, it was followed up with P pushing or shoving Gangsta in the face and the No Limit crew pulling guns on Baby and Gangsta. P basically made them both tuck their tails and kick rocks. This is the whole reason behind the Baby and Master P feud. It wasn't until artists left both labels that they began to work together despite crossing paths in New Orleans for years. Neither Baby or P never spoke on what happened that day. Baby for obvious reasons, but P talks about it without saying the real reason behind the beef and interviews if you go and search him online. So that pretty much wraps up my video, man, on the No Limit and Cash Money beef. It just was some real street stuff that happened, and it really transpired into the music industry with them both being two powerful players and wanting to build two I iconic record labels. So that's just how it went, man. Uh, to this day... I really don't know if P and uh, Baby are really that, you know, cool with each other. Like, you don't hear them really saying a lot of negative things about each other. But so far, it's like on seeing them together, them doing songs, that has yet to happen. So, obviously, it's still some, you know, some unresolved issues there that they just continue to move forward and not really mess with each other on. But that's neither here or there. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, jump in the comment box below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and become part of the fam. Signing out, your boy Star Status Chris.